Good morning, everyone. It is like 5.45 in the morning, and it is 27 degrees out. And I am going to go out and walleye fish for a little while. I only have a couple hours to fish, and unfortunately, my boat didn't want to start this morning, so I'm going to be using my canoe. We'll see how this goes. I'm on Lake Wisconsin right now. So we're doing a video on how to fish for walleyes in cold water. So the things you need are jig heads, which I have some up here. These are ones I got from Walmart, which was like $10 for this 65 piece pack. And then, and these are eighth and a quarter ounce. And then I have all these jigs in various weights, up to a half ounce, down to it an eighth of an ounce. It just depends upon the day what weight I want to use. And then I have some plastics, which you might use, but I'm not using them today. Like the, the twister tail plastics like this, or a Mr. Twister work well sometimes, or power bait or other various plastics will work. And then you need some hooks and sinkers to get down to bottom. And right now I have on a bullet sinker, but you can also use egg sinkers like this. So jig, jig heads of various weight. You can buy them anywhere. I prefer using sixteenths, eighths on a quarter, depending upon how deep you are and sinkers to get to bottom and you need some hooks for, I usually use size 6 hooks but any size will probably work and some split shots to put between your sinker and hook and you don't want to go super heavy on the way you just want to go heavy enough to make contact with bottom and you want to find deep water like I'm in about 20 feet right now although I don't have a locator and the walleyes are like in slow breaks right now and deep water schooled up. Unfortunately this morning they're not biting so well. Yeah I just have a couple hours to fish. My boat actually didn't want to start otherwise I'd be out here in that. <laughs> I haven't picked up a single fish drifting the middle here. Okay. I don't know where they're at here, but... Yeah, we do. It sounds like last weekend when a lot of guys brought this way, I didn't go down at the other end. Did it do too well? Uh, I heard people did really well up here, but... Did they just stack all along there? I don't know. I saw in Lake Link people said they were catching fish here, but who knows, they could just be telling everyone to fish here too, knowing that, right? I know I went by the bridge last Friday night for like an hour. Thank you. 
my dad is on me to go. So thanks for watching this episode of Musky Hounds Outdoors. And if it's a while in cold water, you'll see a variety of weighted jigs and a bottom rig with a hook on it. Today I have two fish on the 8 ounce jig on a 5 foot shake thrust with two delta lights and one fish on a quarter ounce jig. So this morning I only had like two hours to fish. I had just found an active school of fish just as I was about to, as I left too. My dad needed my help moving some things around the yard. So I'm going to just show you how I'm going to cook up the sager I caught quick because it's going to be delicious. Here's the sager fillets. I just filleted it. And then I'm going to take some shore lunch we have right here and I'm going to pour it into into a bowl, a little bit of it, not a ton of it. Then I'm going to take some canola oil and put it in the skillet and turn it to medium heat. And let it warm up. Then I'm going to take the fillets and I'm going to cut them into chunks so then they cook more even. And then I'm going to put them in some breading and then I'm going to take this and dip this in the breading then I'm going to put it in the pan like this I'm going to take the next piece and do that then the next piece Take this here. And we'll have this drying in a minute. And here's our frying pan. It'll start getting hot in a minute. And let me show you where I was catching the fish at. So here's a fit lake map of Lake Wisconsin where I was fishing. And I was fishing right by this railroad bridge where I'm pointing here right on the, right on this steep breaks right here by the railroad bridge where it drops off very steeply you also can fish other deep holes that are found throughout the lake or steep drop offs that are hold to too and if you go by the dams there's usually fish by the dams so another good spot to try is right down here on the lake too. The best place to fish are, are like steep drop offs and deep areas in the lake and right below the dams where there's slack water and the water's cold and there'll be lots of walleyes there that are schooled up but you have to find them and once but once you find them you usually can catch a whole bunch of them and I usually just use various weights of jigs usually quarter ounce or less and river rigs or lindy rigs just drifting them on bottom so you just need to go and buy some jigs and some hooks and some sinkers and then you can and minnows and you can go out and catch some walleyes and saugers. Today I just caught saugers. I didn't actually catch any walleyes. But I may have caught walleyes or if I could have had more time to fish I might have caught walleyes. Now that our fish is frying good it's time to flip it. So now my sager fillets look like they're done and cooked all the way through. This batter didn't stick very well today. That's too bad. They'll still taste fine. So I'm just going to serve these with some tartar sauce. And I frequently make my own tartar sauce, but today I'm just going to use store-bought tartar sauce. I could make a different video where I make my own tartar sauce, though. And... So that is it for today. I'm going to go to the football, a football game later this afternoon. Otherwise, I'd be fishing. I'd much rather actually be fishing. So if you like this video, put a, hit the like sign by it. 
and please subscribe to my channel if you enjoy these videos. Thanks for watching Musky Huns Outdoors.